All right, we're going to be starting our third uh, retake video on the Chapter 414755 material. Um, the first video was talking about understanding the relationship between sides and angles of a triangle. The second video that we did was classifying triangles according to their sides and angles. And this third video is going to focus on calcula calculating missing values using triangle properties. We will be finding values of x in this third video. Remember that in order to c complete your requirements, you need to watch this video. You need to take notes on each of the slides, including summaries at the end of the um, um, sections. You need to complete the review problems listed at the end of this video. You'll be turning those into your teacher along with your review problems and your notes um, to verify that you understand the material better so that you will be successful on this retake. And then you will set up a time to make sure that um, to get that retake finished. All right, so when we're doing this, the main things we're going to be talking about in this video are that the angles of a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. The exterior angle is the sum of the two remote interior angles. Isosceles triangles have two equal angles and two equal opposite sides. And that equilateral triangles have three equal angles, all of them being 60 degrees and three equal sides. All right. Um, the first thing that we're going to talk about here is that triangles always add up to 180 degrees. That's an important number. Make sure that you get that in your notes. Make sure that you're understanding that it's the three angles of the triangles, this one, this one, and this one that we will be adding together. So, excuse me, in question number one, we will be adding those three angles together, setting up an equation for that, 5x plus 9x minus 9 plus 35 equals 180. We will be adding like terms in this problem. We're going to take the 5x and 9x, add them together for 14x. And then we will take the negative 9 and the 35, add those together for 26. And that will total up to 180. And then from there, we will be subtracting 26 from both sides. 14x equals 154, and then we will divide those two sides by 14, calculating that x equals 11 for that triangle. If you wanted to find out the measure of each of those angles to, to classify this triangle, you would take 11 and plug it in there. This angle would be 5 times 11, which would be 55. This angle right here would be 9 times 11 minus 9, which equals 90 degrees. And this third angle right here, we already know it is 30 degrees. This triangle would be a right triangle because of the 90 degrees. In the second example that I have over here, number 2, um, you can see that we have two of the angles. We do not have the third angle. That means that this third angle with this little box in the corner here is an implied 90 degrees. A lot of students have been taking this 180 total, subtracting off the 90 that we already used up in that corner, and figuring out that the remaining two angles must add to 90 degrees. So we can take the 7x and the 2x, add those together, and equal that to 90. 7x plus 2x and equal to 90. Adding the 7 and the 2, we have 9x equals 90. Dividing by 9, we get x equals 10. All right. This last example that we have right here, our third example, is now a triangle that has two equal sides. When we look at that triangle, we see that we have this tally mark on the left, and we have this tally mark on the right, meaning that that's an isosceles triangle. And we learned in the last video that isosceles triangles have two equal angles, and those would be these two angles right here, opposite those angles. That means we can take this x plus 2 that we have on the left right here, and we can fill that in on the right. And then we're going to take and add that together to equal it to 180. Again, a lot of people have been taking these triangles. 180 take away 50 gives you 130. 
and then they're setting up the equation x plus 2 plus x plus 2 has to equal 130. Other students have been just taking all three angles that we have in that triangle and adding them all together and equaling it to 180. So an alternative to this would be 50 plus x plus 2 plus x plus 2 equals 180 degrees. All right, we're going to take a second. I want you to pause the video. I want you to finish this problem, and then we'll compare your answer to make sure that you're doing it correctly. All right, I finished both problems in both ways, depending on which way you chose. Compare your answers. You should have gotten x to be 63 degrees. What I would like you to do is take just a second, write a sentence or two to summarize what we talked about in this lesson. Um, pause your video while you do that, and then start again when you are ready for the next section. All right, this next section that we're going to talk about is going to be calculating the exterior angle um, using the two remote interior angles. Remember, when you draw a triangle and you extend that third side, these two angles right here, if you add them together, and let me just do a little something here, when you put those together, they will always equal this outside angle. These two angles right here, the one where we started with blue and the one where we started with purple, together add up to equal this outside angle right here. So in this first example, we're looking at this problem right here, we can take these two remote interior angles, that's the 45 and the 5x, and together they will equal this angle on the outside, the 100. So our equation is going to be 45 plus 5x equals 100. Solving that equation, subtracting 45 from both sides, 5x equals 55, dividing by 5s, x would equal 11. These next two examples that we have here, the same kind of problems. Number two, I would like you to pause the video, set up the equation that you think that you understand, then double check your work and see if it looks like mine. All right, I took the two remote interior angles, the one right here with the x and the one right here with the 20, I added them together on the left and equaled it to this outside angle of 2x minus 25. Again, pause that video real quick, finish solving that, and we'll check and make sure that you're doing your work properly. All right, I solved this equation by taking the x from the left, moving it to the right by subtracting over there, and at the same time, I took the 25 from the right and I moved it to the left by adding it there. Solving that equation, I got 45. Now, we have one last problem right here, question number three. When you look at this question, the only thing that is different is that we have this box in the corner. And what do we mean when we see that little box there? That's the implied 90 degrees. So again, pause the video, we'll set this up, we'll solve it, and we'll check your work. All right, I set it up by solving and getting the um, 90 and the 2x, putting those two together, right here and right here, equaling it to the 8x on the right, finish that up and getting x equals 15. Now again, pause your video one more time, include a summary so that you understand this concept and you are ready to move on to the next. All right. Now, we will be talking about isosceles triangles in this fourth, excuse me, third slide. Um, the fact that isosceles triangles have two equal angles and two equal opposite sides. In example number one right here, we have a triangle with, that is given with, excuse me, two equal angles right here. This angle right here and this angle right here are your equal angles. When those angles are equal, it's understood that the sides opposite those angles will also be equal. So in this case, we will be taking 7x plus 5 and equaling it to 13 minus x. 
This 10 over here on the left, it's a distractor. We do not need that number for this problem. Adding x to both sides, 8x plus 5 equals 13. Subtracting 5 from both sides, we get um, 8x equals 8. And we find out that x is 1. In the second problem that we have over here on the right, now we are given that we have two equal angles, excuse me, two equal sides. This side right here is equal to this side right here. With those two sides being equal, we will assume then that our angles opposite those sides will be equal. That would be those two sides right there. For this problem, we know that x is simply 65. What I would like you to do, again, pause the video, write a short summary, one sentence, possibly two, to remind yourself of what you need to do so that you understand this concept. When you're done, start that video up again, and we will move on to equilateral triangles. All right, now we're going to talk about equilateral triangles having three equal angles and three equal sides. Again, we talked earlier that those angles will always be 60 degrees. In this first example that I have right here, we're given that there are three sides, excuse me, three angles, one, two, three, that have all been marked congruent. That means that all three sides in this problem will be congruent. You should be able to set up this problem with any two sides equaling each other. My suggestion would be that you would set them both equal to 18, or one, excuse me, one of them equal to 18, and solve the one that seems to be the easiest. It doesn't matter. If you want to get really wild and crazy, you sure could set up 2x plus 3 equal to 4x minus 2. All three of those equations, 1, 2, 3, will give you the exact same answer. I'm going to choose the one on the bottom because it has space to work. Adding 2 to both sides, 4x equals 20, and we divide by 4, we get x equals 5. Looking at example 2 over here, we have markings on there regarding the sides. We have a congruent mark on the top. We have a congruent mark on the right. We have a congruent mark on the left. So in that, we know that we have three equal angles. You can do a few different things. You can take the 2y and put it up here and put it right here. And you can add all of those together. 2y plus 2y plus 2y equals 180. Or, if you remember, when we talked at the beginning, all of the angles have to be 60 degrees, you could simply take 2y and set it equal to 60. In either case, you will get y equals 30. 6y equals 180 y equals 30. All right, what I would like you to do now is summarize what we've talked about for equilateral triangles. And then, after you're done with that, excuse me, um, you have a review assignment that you're going to be working on, the book page 286, the book page 902. After you're done with that, after you complete those questions, come and talk to your teacher to set up a time to retake the um, test and improve your score.